Welcome to Kartu. When you close your eyes and think of a Jeep, it's likely that the rough and tumble Wrangler comes to mind, but the Grand Cherokee is every bit as important to the success of the famed off-road brand in terms of sales. Its appeal is bolstered by the fact that it pairs impressive off-road capability with on-road refinement, offers lots of available luxury appointments and features, and has the rugged, outdoorsy look Jeep buyers love. A trio of powertrains are offered, including familiar V6 and V8 options and a new plug-in hybrid variant that Jeep calls 4Z. While rear-wheel drive is standard on models with the V6, there are no less than three different all-wheel drive systems available to help tackle whatever your lifestyle requires, whether that's simply commuting through snowy weather or crawling rocks in Moab. For the 2021 model year, Jeep launched a new generation of the Grand Cherokee, but it only offered the new model as a the L3 row variant, reviewed separately, alongside the previous generation, 2 row GC. For the 2022 model year, the Grand Cherokee sheds its old bones with the introduction of a two-row body style riding atop the new architecture. We think the limited model represents the best mix of features, besting the base Laredo with more equipment to satisfy luxury buyers. The limited comes standard with leather upholstery, a power-operated rear liftgate, heated front and rear seats, power-adjustable front seats, interior ambient lighting, automatic high-beam headlamps, remote start, and more. We'd spring for the Entertainment Group package, which adds the larger 10.1-inch infotainment display and a 9-speaker Alpine stereo. We'd also choose the Lux Tech Group 2 package, with rain-sensing windshield wipers, a wireless phone charger, perforated leather upholstery, ventilated front seats, a power-adjustable steering column, a digital rearview mirror, second-row sunshades, a 360-degree exterior camera system, front and rear parking sensors, and a collision avoidance feature that helps when traveling through intersections. Like the last-generation Grand Cherokee, the new one is powered by either a 3.6-liter V6 or a 5.7-liter Hemi V8. Jeep also offers its plug-in hybrid 4Z powertrain that introduces electrification to its family SUV. Rear-wheel drive is standard with the base V6, but all-wheel drive is standard on Grand Cherokees with the V8 or plug-in hybrid powertrain. Several different all-wheel drive systems are available, including an electronically locking limited slip differential. A Trailhawk model with more robust off-road equipment and greater capability is available, too, and it features an adjustable air suspension that provides up to 11.3 inches of ground clearance and a disconnecting sway bar that allows greater wheel articulation for tackling difficult terrain. When we get a chance to test the new Grand Cherokee at our test track, we'll update this story with results. On the performance end of the spectrum, we expect Jeep to continue to offer high-performance SRT and Trackhawk models, but we review those separately. Fuel economy estimates for the V6-powered Grand Cherokee are typical of the midsize SUV segment at 19 mpg city and 26 mpg highway when paired with rear-wheel drive. Adding all-wheel drive drops each of those estimates by 1 mpg. The V8 model is rated for 14 mpg city and 22 mpg highway. The plug-in hybrid 4Z should deliver better fuel economy but the EPA has not released estimates for that model yet. Models with the 4Z plug-in hybrid powertrain come with a 14.0-KWH battery pack and a 134 HP electric motor that allows the Grand Cherokee to cruise for up to 25 miles per charge. Jeep boasts that the Grand Cherokee with the 4Z powertrain completed the famed Rubicon Trail entirely in its EV driving mode. For more information about the Grand Cherokee's fuel economy, a thoroughly modernized cabin replaces the outgoing Grand Cherokee's somewhat dated interior. While base Laredo models offer the essentials, upscale Summit and Overland trims will add luxuries like quilted leather upholstery, open-pore wood trim, and high-tech digital displays. The Grand Cherokee is strictly a two-row SUV, but buyers seeking a third row can upgrade to the Grand Cherokee L, which we review separately. We haven't had a chance to test the new Grand Cherokee yet, but we expect it to accommodate more of our carry-on suitcases than the previous generation model. Floating just above the surface of the Grand Cherokee's dashboard is either an 8.4 or 10.1-inch touchscreen with standard Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Sirius XM satellite radio. In dash navigation with real-time traffic and weather updates is optional, and higher-end models can be had with a digital gauge cluster, a 10.0-inch head-up display, 
and another 10.3-inch display embedded into the dashboard for use by the front seat passenger. While the Laredo and Limited models ship with a standard 6-speaker stereo, buyers will be able to upgrade to either a 9-speaker Alpine audio setup or a high-end 19-speaker Macintosh arrangement.